This episode of Working Class Hunter is brought to you by River's Edge Tree Stands. Hey, Cliff here with Working Class Hunter. Dedication is one of those a lot of people are not willing to go to. Whether it's rainy days, nasty days, or things you need to be doing around the house. But if you're dedicated to getting into the outdoors and spend time in the outdoors, you'll find a way to get out there. You know, whether it's take your lunch break or you take a half a day off from work or you take your vacation and you spend it in the outdoors. You dedicate that time to your passion. Seth is a prime example of that. Back in August, Seth had a major heart surgery, open heart surgery. They'd done some valve replacement. The time it takes to recover from such a major setback as Seth occurred is would have killed most of us. You know, we'd have never been able to get back into the woods and that time frame that Seth was able to do. But through his dedication and doing everything the doctors told him, Seth was able to get his body healed back up enough, get his strength built back up to be able to climb a tree. Even though Seth is a diehard bow hunter, he had to use a crossbow on this trip. And as you'll see, he is very successful. So I uh, just made it out here to Ohio here today. Uh, I'm gonna be hunting several days, well, a couple weeks if need be. Um, we got some decent weather here today with a lot of rain in the projected future. I'm gonna try to do some quick in-season scouting. I've hunted this area a good bit, but I like to see what's happening. Um, there's some scrapes showing up on the edge of this little pine thicket, little pine edge. They do like work the edge of that. We have a stand just down here uh, in a big old oak and a ground blind um, for those rainy days. I am still healing up a little bit from uh, surgery back in August, so climbing trees, uh, it's a little bit painful still uh, as we're healing up. So we're gonna go back and forth depending on the weather. Uh, trying to keep the camera gear dry over the next several days as well as most of my outfits from getting boogered up. I did my intel over the summer, early fall, but I'm trying to get a handle on what's happening right now. Too many guys will pick their spots and set up on them because that's where they think they need to be. Um, I like to take advantage of a little bit of in-season scouting when I can. Um, and this is one of those opportunities. I'm just gonna jump in the woods here real quick for a couple hours, rather than going to where I think I need to be. Um, I wanna make sure I'm hunting the best spot. I got a scrape here behind me. I've got some scrape lure from Raw. Maybe a little early for their estrus, but we're gonna put one squirt in just to get things a little route up here. I don't wanna do a whole lot to this scrape because it's already active and I know they're working it. Um, I will probably likely make a mock scrape here within 40 yards of this area um, and put some multi-buck in it just to get the, just get things a little stirred up. So uh, I'm gonna keep it pretty quick, get this taken care of and get out of here because this is an area that we will we'll be hunting over the next couple days. See here, we made a pretty aggressive Mock scrape, licking branch up above. I like to make those mock scrapes large and visual. What you can see is we have a trail coming down through here, big logging road. A little mini cut in there, deer come up out of that area. Oops, spun you around. As well as deer coming up out of that area. This is a little hub. We've got deer coming from all directions. I like to make that scrape large and visual. That way, even after the rains, minimal scent has to be left in there. The deer will see that and they will work it. Uh, we set a trail camera up on the corner and we'll just kind of let this one sit here. Let's do a little bit more scout and see what else we find here midday. Simple, easy to use, 
They're all set up. Find service and make sure you turn it to on. I know you've all done it. I've done it too many times. I let it on that setup mode. I get out of the woods, back to my house. I'm like, man, that's not taking any picture. This segment of Working Class Hunter is brought to you by Redmond Hunt. Oh, it's first set in Ohio for my annual two week pre rut extravaganza. I am in a tree. Yay. The chest is uh, a little tender. Aggravated some. Alice muscles down in Maryland doing a little work. But uh, we'll keep this short. The weather's nice. Uh, we got a couple weeks. We're just going to focus on trying to get one of those. Better bucks within better range, so. I'm 20 couple feet up. I'm in my happy spot. We'll see what happens. Made it out to Ohio yesterday afternoon. Got some things set up the way we needed to. Did slip into the woods for a couple hours last evening with uh, no luck, no excitement, no deer encounters. The reveals busy last evening. Uh, there five o'clock this morning. Target buck. at the oak so uh move me give him a little time to move on
To keep you safe, River's Edge has created the safest tree stand you can buy. Our lockdown ladder stands attach securely to the tree before you ever leave the ground. The installer clips the two straps together on the back side of the tree with a carabiner. Next, pull the other end of the straps through the ladder guides to draw the carabiner up the back of the tree until it comes to a rest directly behind the platform. Thread the other end of the straps through the ground level ratchets and ratchet them tight. Slip into the big oak. Finally happy that this weather has broke. It's been raining on and off for the last, it seems like forever, three or four days. Um, and I've been hiding in that ground blind trying to keep the camera gear dry as well as all my clothes as I'm going to be out here for several days it looks like. Um, unless we happen to get lucky and score this evening. But anyhow, beautiful night. Um, temps are starting to change. It's a little cooler. Uh, it's supposed to be really chilly tomorrow morning, but anyhow, the deer should be moving um, as the weather's changing and things are starting to pick up a little bit. So, see my zipper? Almost 10 weeks ago, put a new valve in me. I spray down a lot, go through plenty of spray. Feel like this is a ginormous pack, kind of needed for all the camera gear and whatnot. But uh, we're just gonna take a little stroll back in here, get up into the stead. This is one of them stands that they come from just about everywhere, so the wind's gonna blow in one direction or another, but anyhow.
<coughs> there he is, folks. Ohio tag filled. Pretty happy to have this tag filled. It's been a uh, whirlwind of two months. Had open heart surgery uh, not even nine weeks ago. Didn't quite do all the prepping and scouting that I've done in the past, but uh, just happy to get one on the ground here. Tickle Pink, Ohio, Buck Tag Field, October 22nd. Now, how was that for dedication? You know, Seth had open heart surgery back in August. Here it is, October. And he's able to climb a tree, physically enough to climb a tree, and to pull the trigger and kill a deer for his first hunt of the year. Congratulations, Seth, on a phenomenal hunt. Great deer. And we're glad you're doing well after your open heart surgery. Remember, work hard, hunt harder. But I guess it's time to get back to work. Good sighting. Ten point stand. Five o'clock. Two two minutes ago. Well, let me see. Yeah, three minutes ago. So. There he is, folks. <laughs>